and welcome to another Divi Designs tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to configure the full width menu. Um, you notice if not all our themes use the full width menu module in Divi. Some of them are custom. Um, the last two themes, however, are using the full width menu module. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure that. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be using the app web page. Um, if you downloaded the zip file, it should look something like this. So you unpack it and head over to the menu tutorial. So this is basically the the naming structure and the IDs you would have to give to each link in order for this, the auto scroll to work. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if you click our app, it'll go to this section, usability, and so on and so forth. So let's get started. So let's add a new page. You can name this page whatever you like. Uh, we're just going to name it App. Use the V Builder. Import. Let's choose a file. Set over to our desktop. Choose Import. This might take a second. And we're done. Perfect. Let's publish the page. Now let's take a look at it. Let's X this out so we won't get confused. Okay, so the first thing you notice is the default menu and then the custom menu. So I would recommend if you do not want to use yours, just simply head over to the template and choose blank page update so that'll get rid of this default one so let's refresh great so now let's set up our menu let's head over to menus let's create a menu we're gonna name this app menu Click create menu. Let's head over to our custom links and let's look at our file. That's not it. Here it is. So uh, input the following. I should say links or no, I said it correctly. Link text and URL. No, you can rename blah, blah, blah. So. Let's shrink this a little bit. We don't need all this space. Let's take this to the side. So the, for the first one, the URL would be, now mind you, you could name this however you like, but then you would have to go back into the theme itself um, and change the IDs to whatever you'd like. But for, for ease of use, you might as well just leave it the same. So here it is. So let's now you can name this. The name doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you like. What's important is the ID that you give the custom links, or else the auto scroll is not going to work. 
So pound, you always have to prefix it with a pound and then the name of the ID within the section. So let me show you exactly where that ID lives. Let's go to our pages. Let's go into the page itself. So in our example, well, I should, I should say the original example, if you clicked our app, it would auto scroll to around this section. So let's find that section. Let's edit. All right, here you have the custom code, which if you want to break apart, you can. And here's the menu. Here's the social media icons. And here's the intro page with the three phones. And this is the section that we want to auto scroll to. And as you can see in the custom CSS, it has an ID of about section. So you can change this to whatever you like. Just make sure that change reflects over here. So let's go down through the list to get this to work right. All right. This is not it. Mm, don't save. Don't save. This is it. Okay. Uh, usability. Paste. Add. Copy. Paste. copy, paste, and then add. Again, the naming structure or the, the naming of your links is, could be changed to whatever you'd like. However, keep in mind this ID has to, has to stay pretty accurate. And if you do change it, you'd have to change the ID on the module where you want to auto scroll to. Uh, we're almost done over here. Bear with me, please. I just want to give a live demonstration to all our customers so that way they know how to configure their theme to their taste. Copy, paste, and last but not least. Okay, I notice this is all lowercase, doesn't really matter, but I like consistency. And I can type today. All right, great. Okay, so now we want to save the menu. Let's head over to our page. Where are we? We're over here, right? So full width menu. Let's open the module. Well, first, I believe we would have to either update or refresh so you could actually see the menu. Okay, now. You open the module, you should see a drop-down menu which will give us a list of any custom menus that we've created. There it is. So, app menu, save, update. Let's go to the front of our page. Let's refresh. And there you have it. If everything's working well, it should scroll to its corresponding sections. Now, of course, you can customize this however you'd like. You could change the color of this button all within the module. So that about wraps it, guys. To the next time, Debbie Designers.